Good morning, you guys. It is Wellness Wednesday. Welcome back to Daybreak. Uh, I am live this morning at Lifetime in Fort Worth. Look, it is way too hot these days to go for maybe the long walks that you're used to. What I've been doing is walking in my swimming pool. So I called my friends here and I said, hey, what else can I do in the pool to make these workouts count. So Ulysses Perez is the head swim coach here. We got Dan in the water. We're gonna demonstrate. The first thing, Ulysses, that you told me is that people really need to learn how to breathe to feel comfortable in the water. That's exactly right. So one of the things that a lot of people uh, misunderstand is with swimming, we actually breathe in through our mouth and out through our nose. So a good sign of that is bubbles coming out of the nose while you're swimming. Okay, so, um, okay, I'm gonna try this. <laughs> and you can do some kicks to also start, even if you don't know how to swim, you yep. hold onto the edge and do some kicks, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So exhaling from the nose, inhaling from the mouth, and just making some white water with your feet. White water, is this how you teach kids too? <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh. we use words like splashtastic and swimmingly, it makes it a little bit more fun. Okay, and are you supposed to try to keep the legs straight? Yeah, you do want a slight knee bend and a slight ankle uh, flexibility, um, a little bit of a rotation in the hips as well. That okay. looks great. Oh yeah, really okay. Good. So I feel that in the core also. Um, what's something else that people can do if they're not really super comfortable in the water and they might need to just kind of stay close to the edge? Yeah, so one of the things that is important to realize is that we are not naturally built for the water, so we don't have webbed hands or anything like that. So just doing bobs like we just did there, where your head is above the water, inhaling from the mouth, and exhaling from the nose. Oh, just yeah. like Lee's demonstrating here, in through the mouth and out through the nose. So these are the basics. Yep, fundamentals in swimming. I feel like investing in goggles is gonna be important and also swim caps for those of us who don't wanna get our hair wet. Um, tell people where they can connect with you guys to maybe um, get some swim lessons or sure. some more ideas for what to do in the water? Yeah, so right here at Lifetime we offer a lot of different programs including master swimming where we do a lot of lap swimming. Um, like you mentioned, we highly encourage wearing caps, uh, goggles, the appropriate swimming uh, equipment. I like to recommend even a fitness watch that keeps track of heart rate, laps, and just different li little measurements that can help you along the way. Okay. Thank you, Ulysses and yeah. Dan. Lifetime.life is their website if you guys want to learn more. You guys, it feels so nice out here right now, <laughs> especially in the water. Plum assignment day. We were, we were saying that, Sonia, and that, that does. That's so much easier on your joints um, than if you, if you can't go out and run or something like that, too. So, hey, and kudos to her for keeping those AirPods in her ears the whole time. Yeah, cool way to start her morning, too. Mm -hmm.